Thank you all so much for clicking i put out a community post on my channel and you guys so you asked and i delivered please make sure you stick to the end of this video to get all the helpful tips thank you our friends back then in secondary school who say they don't read for english like what hey guys and welcome back again to my channel in case you're new here my name is anekan and i am a 200 level medical student studying in nigeria i make lifestyle content and jam related content like jam tips i have a jam playlist on my channel guys like if you have not watched that playlist like what are you doing all the tips you need everything from tricks to tr a lot a lot a lot guys don't make me stammer but we have so much information on jam on this my channel jam exam is coming very soon it's literally like two weeks or even less to the exam i'll advise you now i'm going to be giving you some advice on what to do within these two weeks in order to maximize this two weeks before the exam one thing i would say is i would never ever ever recommend that someone pushes this major exam pushes studying for this major exam till like two weeks before the exam like that is like suicide because the information is too much it is intense information and what you're going to be doing within these two weeks will be selective reading because you will not be able to cover the syllables it will just be a lot so two weeks is very little to cover a wide amount of information but i'm going to just give you my two cents on what you should do but please please anyone who is preparing for next one or don't make this mistake please start preparing as soon as possible as soon as you register for jam in fact before you even register for jam just start preparing as you even enter ss3 class which is really the commonest class for writing this jam exam start preparing okay done we can move so the first thing i advise you to do is get yourself acquainted with the past questions like i think i have said this if you have been watching my video you know that me and past question were like five and six like past questions is key a lot of people will say things like eh jam don't really repeat past questions. but those are the topics those are the topics no matter how jam is going to change the questions or even the values that the topics never really change that is why i advise that you use past questions if you have two weeks to the exam this is two weeks i advise you to stick with past question enough of like reading intensively in fact just enough of it do past questions like a lot of past questions when i say a lot i mean like try and finish all your past questions starting from the current year backward this time like review as many as possible and like i always say why i always recommend that you start from the current year backward is because the syllabus is changing they're adding topics they're changing topics but but that is well it's still basically same thing but i'll advise you to really start from this year and work yourself backwards so guys and if you have not read at all i only have these two weeks please don't don't even say you want to start intensive reading like intensive reading is what i wouldn't really recommend like sitting down jotting doing all those things you don't really have time for that i'll advise you to use past questions now this is how i want you to or how i would recommend you use these past questions like solve as many questions as possible and take note of the topics the questions that you fail and the ones you guess please be honest with yourself you have to be brutally honest did i guess this question or i knew it like if you guessed it you take note of that topic too if you knew it it is fine you can proceed but take note of the questions you guessed and the ones you failed those topics you don't really understand you're not really strong in those are the ones that i advise you putting your hundred percent into so what you do is you go to your textbooks you don't have time to say you are jotting down points like you really need the help of like photographic memory in this current condition but what you can do is you can use highlighters to highlight the points then you, know, you can jot down but make sure you're not jotting the whole chapter back into because some people do that they do that like they jot the whole like paragraph the whole chapter back again no 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 you don't have time for that you don't have time for that so i advise you to like take notes what was the question jam asked was it a formula do i now know the formula can i see like other examples of application of this formula just like go through the textbook just read read and try to retain as much information as possible you don't really have time to be saying i'm jotting i'm jotting if you're jotting you're really going to be very slow very very slow 
so you should just try studying and see if you can retain those information by looking at other practical examples so that's what i'll advise you to do and if it's biology and i'm feeding questions on the reproductive system i would go back to my um essential biology or whatever biology text you use and study that topic i'm not jotting because biology is a very bulky course i think the same thing with literature i don't know but it's really a bulky course so it's very important that you narrow down you narrow it you try to um maximize the little time you have and not push your the whole your whole day into biology so i'll not even advise you to really jot if you really jot but just ensure that you understand what the topic is the information the topic and the whole paragraphs are trying to pass across because there's not really time for you to be jotting everything knowing how bulky the course is so guys for the next thing i'll advise you to do this one is for people who haven't been reading and they just have two weeks this is a very unpopular opinion so i don't know whether you should take it to the pinch of salt or a pinch of sugar or whatever but just okay i'm just going to put it out there and it's your choice whether or not to take it a lot of people will disagree with this point but i advise that you focus on your strengths like this is the time for you to fine tune your strengths okay let me give an instance let's say for me i wrote english biology chemistry physics and i'm to pick three courses all i'm going to do in order for me to maximize my strength is i'm going to pick like three courses that i'm really strong in and this is what my main focus would be within these two weeks okay for example i am i like biology i have been reading biology like i find myself to be good in biology like how do i know these things i've done past questions and i see that biology is comes easier to me so biology then physics I noticed that I still can retain and recall a lot of physics formulas, maybe from classes, from school, from everything. I still have, I can, and also I can interpret physics questions. So I'm going to be picking biology and physics as my two strongholds. Then English language. English language, I think, is a very, is a stronghold to everybody. I used to have friends back then in secondary school who say they don't read for English. Like, what? Like, when I started, when I got, for me, I used to read my essential in, is it essential? Comprehensive, comprehensive English back then. But my friend was like, no, 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 you shouldn't be reading this because this is for why, this is not mainly for jam. So I decided to get this A to Z by Dele Ashadi. And I'm telling you, my jam score skyrocketed. Like, I don't know whether it was just the book, but my jam score sky sky skyrocketed i started reading for english language and i'm telling you english was one course that really helped me in my second jam especially like i've said a countless number of times that my second jam was quite messy because i didn't go with pencil so i could not really solve physics and chemistry with a paper i was doing everything with my head which is really difficult if like there's a calculator there yeah but you still need to like put some of the large numbers down so it was just it was too difficult for me when i came back, i remember coming back with a pounding headache and i'm really telling you that one of the things that literally saved my life was my english score my english score was really high because i had read daily ashadi i had a a a um jotter where i jotted down synonyms and antonyms that i've discovered so yes if you're studying you have to really study for english language because english can be your lifesaver in this jam examination nobody is going to ask you what did you get in english what did you get in chem what they're going to ask you is what was your jam score so nobody cares whether english was the highest but just do your best do your absolute best get a to z if by what i used it a to z by daily ashadi i don't know whether it has really changed but that was what i used study like try and finish that book maybe when you're lying on your bed about to sleep try and read as many pages pages as possible try to understand how jam says because daily ashadi a to z was really tailored to jam so i think that was one of the things that really helped me like try to finish the book try to understand it because english might be your lifesaver so Focus on your strengths. Not that you're going to be neglecting maybe chemistry. That is your weak point. Not that you're going, to, you're going to be neglecting it. But that is just there. It's not your major focus. You're going, going to be you're going to be glancing through chemistry like once in a while, once in 
once once in a while like that but you are focusing on these three subjects and you are really playing a very risky game so try this only if you haven't read but if you have been reading you know the four subject for you should be okay for you like you are really prepared you know but if you haven't read i'm telling you that's why i say this week you're going to be doing a lot of pick pick picky 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 and a lot of gambling and sometimes it may be in your favor sometimes it might not so just just try you know try try if you can also in inculcate reading your lesser subjects to try so the next thing i'll advise you to do is to hey, that's it guys thank you so much for watching today's episode i didn't want the video to be so so long so guys come back again tomorrow same time for a part two of this series don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button guys thank you